still it is saying no drone detected so i am not doing anything now i am turning the drone on and then you will start hearing the sound of the drone as well so as soon as our drone has been started it starts saying drone detected welcome to online tutorial videos from jcbr labs this is a project video and in this project video we will uh, we are going to demonstrate a machine learning based project which is real time drone identification based on sound analysis so in this uh, in this project we are acquiring the sound uh, coming from the environment and based on the specific sound of the drone we are detecting whether there is a drone present in it or not and this entire project is working in a real time so let's have a look uh, in the project uh, hi we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance projects based on data science python embedded system machine learning image processing control system etc so we also help in phd thesis guidance and in writing our research papers as well so if you have any such requirement then you can you can contact us at through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at the rate jcbrolabs.org uh, so uh, this project online detection online sound based drone detection uh, contains several steps so first step in any machine learning based project is to create the data set so we wrote this particular file to record the data so if you run it you will find it through this uh, GUI which we created by our own we recorded the sound files of the drone and the surroundings okay so we created a lot of data set for that once the data set is created the next step is to extract the features uh, from the data set so we created this uh, different file which extract the features from all the sound files which we have recorded so it automatically reads all those sound files and then extract mfcc features uh, from each sound file okay so we divide each sound files into small small frames and then for each frames it extracts the mfcc features and then uh, stores them okay so finally at the end of this file we end up with a training data set in the training data set we have uh, our training features these mfcc feature and the correspondingly we have a target vector so target vector means when there is no drone we are using zero and when there is a drone so target vector is one so that is our distinguish between whether there is a drone or not now uh, once we have the training data set now the next step is to train the neural network so in this case we are using the artificial neural network to decide whether there is a drone or not okay so in this file we have created a, uh, a artificial neural network based on this sklearn sklearn library and then this sklearn library imports uh, okay or reads the training data sets and then train the neural network right once the neural network is trained then uh, it is ready to be tested so we also have created a file in order to compute the accuracy of the trained uh, neural network right, so if we run it i hope we should get the accuracy of the data so uh, it is uh, reading all the training data set files one by one and then we'll finally show what is the exact accuracy uh, of the trained neural network So our trained neural network was showing nearly the 100% accuracy, uh, right? And then uh, once it is uh, trained neural network is tested uh, and its accuracy is computed, the next step is simply to uh, train uh, to test in real time. Okay, so for testing in real time, we have created uh, the uh, another uh, GUI okay 
uh, in this another GUI uh, in this another GUI we have created uh, a GUI in such a way that it keeps on recording the sounds at an interval of two seconds and then uh, as soon as drone is present there it, it starts indicating that drone is there okay so let's run it okay so this is the GUI okay which you can think of so right now I will start detecting and then you will see it is saying okay no drone detected okay so when there is no drone it won't uh, say anything even I am speaking uh, even then it is not detecting any drone okay so I think now let's connect the drone so I am using this tello uh, this tello uh, quadcopter drone Okay, so let me connect it so uh, still it is saying no drone detected so I am not doing anything now I am turning the drone on and then you will start hearing the sound of the drone as well so as soon as our drone has been started it starts saying drone detected so it is capturing the sound from microphone and uh, if there is a drone sound uh, near about it, it says drone detect. So let's stop the drone. Okay. And again, it will say no drone detected. So it is a very uh, beautiful program. I think so. So let's test it again. We are running the drone again. And as soon as there is a drone nearby, it starts saying drone detected. So everything is happening here in the real time. Okay, so let's stop. So as soon as a drone has stopped or drone gone, again it starts saying no drone detect. So everything, all this uh, drone detection program was happening in real time. So I hope it is interesting and you will, uh, you also liked uh, this part. So. Uh, if you want the source code of this project files then you can contact us at uh, at our uh, through our website or you can mail us at info at the rate jcbrolabs.org so uh, finally we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance projects like this and we also do different projects in embedded matlab python machine learning image processing signal processing etc so if you have any uh, such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org so that's it for this video